Hey guys, we're gonna make a wing for the S10 today. So I've done a few templates and the one I'm happy with is this. Now it may not seem like a lot, but the truth is we're not really going for a lot. As you can see, the idea is this is the, this obviously this line's the tailgate and this is just the length. Everything else is basically what we're making, you know. It's uh, probably not even gonna stick up that high and be something more like this. And I know it doesn't seem impressive right now, but I think the original or the ending was gonna be something like that. It's not too crazy, you know, it's just something simple. Obviously everything starts with cardboard, so. So the first thing we're gonna do is protect our space. And also, let's go ahead and do our lines of demarcation, I guess. We want the wing to kind of follow this line here. This is basically where the wing's gonna stop. Right? It's not gonna be a very big wing, you know, it's a small truck, so that's kind of the idea we're going here. just in case any fiberglass or anything happens to drip down. This is also the line that I've chosen to go off based off the tail lights, which you can't kind of see right now. Basically, I understand this is gonna be done in three steps. Step one is we're gonna put fiberglass on from here, basically somewhere back here. I haven't really decided yet. Step two will be to create the flat plane. And step three, we're gonna connect it all by adding another piece that we can bend and curve. This is the mat we're using. Got it from the homeless depot coming from the fine land of the rising sun. So we cut all our pieces out already. The way I'm planning on laying this out on the truck is we'll put one piece down, try to mesh this in together with it. On top of that, we'll put the second piece over it with another uh, connection on this end. Same thing one more time on the third end here, and the final connection like that. So all of this here, as you'll see in the video, is gonna go from here to here. That makes sense. So we're using some good old transmission fluid as our release agent to put on the tailgate. Now they have all the brands, obviously, you can go with like, you know, stuff designed for it, but if you're cheap Mexican like myself, use transmission fluid. All right, so we've gone ahead and poured our fiberglass into that mixing cup, just because the container I had decided to commit suicide and not want anything out. So these are just the mixing cups you can get at Home Depot, the, uh, if anyone's interested. Uh, we're gonna mix four ounces at a time, and when you do stuff like this, you do 10 drops per ounce. let this actually sit on here for a day just because it's been cold and I wanted to make sure it hardened nicely which looks like we did it's perfect now let's pop this off
nicely done. No damage to the paint whatsoever. And we made our layers deep enough. You can kind of see in here the white line transferred over, which is actually kind of a nice touch. And on the back side, we have our, it's not a marked line, but uh, if you can kind of imagine, you see that line right there where the top of the uh, handle is? That's kind of the distance we're gonna cut. So we're gonna go ahead and trim this first and see what it looks like. Just had some time to dry. Um, let's see if I can show you something real quick. Yeah, that right there. See how flexible that is? It's too flexible, right? Even though it's not as thick right here, uh, it, it's working for what we want. So we're gonna do this again. We're gonna go ahead and lay out another coat of fiberglass. This time. Uh, I guess technically the last time we did six ounces, so um, I guess we'll do eight ounces. stronger and end up using less fiberglass.
ahead and redrew our template. I actually ended up making it just a little bit bigger. And what we do is just basically measure what you want, just like this. Um, let's try to show you. Uh, that makes any sense. We'll measure, we'll cut it to this length, cut it all the way across, and tack this on. I will say though, real quick, you can see this is actually pretty fragile. A lot more fragile than I thought it was gonna be. So if you do this, I would definitely put a sheet of fiberglass, at least one to reinforce it. decided to do is take some four and a half uh, OD PVC pipe, wrap it with this uh, wax paper, and we're going to try to create a curve that we're looking for. Hopefully it's not too aggressive. Basically making this. Uh, I think this is 
definitely the way to go with this. So for right now, I'm just going to secure this piece here. Um, something like this. And try to keep this angle as uniform as possible. So when we're ready, we can add some more fiberglass that won't be as difficult to find. Check this out guys, looks like it uh, kind of gave us exactly what we are looking for, it's more uniform for sure, um, just obviously got some trimming to do, you can kind of see this extra stuff will be trimmed off, but um, I think this looks a hell of a lot better than it did before, so I'm going to let this dry a little longer, I'm going to leave this here for a bit before we uh, apply any extra fiberglass, make sure this thing really hardens. I really don't like using this, uh, I don't know what you call it, the, the carbon fiber style, I guess. Uh, I, I prefer the, sh the strands, so. To me, this is like a really weak fiberglass. At least it is when you use one piece versus the other stuff, but I have it, so it still works, so. It's, uh, I guess that's a good angle for you. So I went ahead and traced out the end caps for this wing and transferred them onto this piece we made. Had our fiberglass there at the last end of the time lapse. We'll cut these out, test fit them, and glue them. Here are the end caps, already sanded, kind of pushed into place. So we're going to glue this in and put Dynaglass on top of it and then we'll go ahead and start sanding everything and put Dynaglass anywhere we need to fill in some smaller holes like this, that way we can trim it out nicely I'm sure. Even like, not, not serious, but here. You know, just start cleaning it up. Look at that wood is.
gotta admit, feeling pretty good about this. Just got a couple wobbles, I ain't gonna lie. But uh, I think once it's all painted, said and done, it's gonna look really nice. Shoot some primer. All right, we're using the uh, starting line to velvet's gun. We got a little Home Depot measuring cup. We're also using some uh, UTEC 2K primer. This basically mixes four to one. Here in your cup, four to one. Actually, these are pretty high ratios. I don't need to make that much. I find a good mix. Hey. This is it, primered. Not too bad looking. Can't really tell, let's see if There we go. Fiberglass is porous. And there's like a few spots. You can kind of see the body work. So we're gonna wet sand this and hit it again. Thank you. 